That's right, bro. <laughs> Turn him in. Six. So well, by the time I get this thing ready, I'll make the picture. Oh, great. I would never, I'd never make it as a photographer. <laughs> Missed the shot. Get it on the way back. Exactly. And we're going to come right back to the same uh, place so he can walk. He can stand right there in the gate and take as many yeah, as he wants. That's one you can't miss. That's a still shot. Well, get up. Come on, get up. That's what I need. I hear you. Come on, get up there. Come on, big boy. Hannah, Hannah. Come on, DJ. Now, guys, when you look around, French Quarter, you're actually looking at Spanish architecture. In 1788, when New Orleans was under Spanish control, they burned down the entire city. It was an accident. It started with a candle on Good Friday. Nevertheless, two buildings survived that blaze. You will see both of them. That led to a couple things. Spanish architecture in the French Quarter, as they rebuilt it in their own image, and the first organized fire department in the United States. Now, the first publicly funded was Ben Franklin in Philadelphia. These were private companies. They pay them a tax and they put a plaque on your house. If your house caught on fire, that company would rush right over and put it out for you. If your house caught fire and it did not have a plaque on it, several right. companies would rush right over and barter with you while it burned down. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the reading fires, folks. Mm -hmm. Ah, get up, come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Uh -huh. Yeah, come on, get up. Right here on the left, that's where we keep the Mississippi River. Usually, at the deepest spot in the whole river, 285 feet. At that point, the river makes a bend. The city as we know it follows that river bend. And that's how New Orleans got its nickname, the Crescent City. It's also how we got the Big Easy. Because of the big, easy bend in the river. But that's now more of an attitude. Yeah. Way of life. We were founded in 1717 by that guy. That is Bienville. He is the father of New Orleans. Step up, come on. If my math teacher's right, that makes us 294. Being just shy of our 300 birthdays has afforded us a lot of first and a lot of worse. Here as we go along. Come on, DJ. Pick him up and him down, baby. Come on. Get up, get up, get up. Come on. Johnny's Pro Boys, best Pro Boy in the quarter. You don't know what a Pro Boy is? Fret not. I'll explain it to you later in the tour. But right now, it's a sandwich. <laughs> Coming up at the end of the block on the right is the Napoleon House. It was built in 1797 by Mayor Gerard. It's called the Napoleon House because 20 years later, when Napoleon was exiled after losing at Waterloo, Mayor Gerard successfully negotiated his release. This was going to be Napoleon's palace in exile. But Napoleon died three days before they got to him, so Napoleon never stepped foot in the Napoleon House. Like most of the other buildings in the French Quarter, it's now a bar. <laughs> there was a famous scene in the movie JFK. Right in the beginning, when Costner said he was ashamed to be an American, he was sitting right there. Napoleon House, folks, 1797. Ah, get up. Get up. Come on. Get up. Ah, get up. And my buddy Dr. John is not a horse, he's a mule. We started using the mule in 1984 when a heat wave killed a couple horses. So city ordinance mandates that we use the mule because they can handle the heat and humidity of New Orleans a lot better. They're a much smarter animal and more sure-footed, and they don't spook easily. So when you get around to Bourbon Street, and there's a lot of lights, a lot of noise, and a lot of people, they don't jet off into the crowd on it. And that's good. Yeah. yeah. I think in sales, they call that a win-win. <laughs> Get up, get up, get up, get up. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Back to Napoleon. To go all the way across the planet to rescue somebody who's already dead is a long way to go for nothing. So they brought back Napoleon's death mask. 
the original bronze death mask on the Pope is in the building right next to the cathedral called the Cabildo.